Alright, so for tutorial 2, I decided I'm going to go back and show some basics. Um, I assume you already know how to move units, which is right click. And then the uh, left click button is for selecting selection. And then you know you can draw a box and select both. So uh, for hotkeys though, you want to select the unit that you want to hotkey. Hold the control button and press any number 1 through 0. So I'm going to press 1 for my reaper. As you can see it pops up a little reaper right there. I'm going to select my marauder and hold control and press 2. So now my marauder is button 2, my reaper is button 1. I'm going to split them up. Oh yeah, baby. Now you can select them either by clicking on the button that's on screen or pressing the 1 and 2 button on your keyboard. Now let's say that you're off like off doing something and you want to move to the army that's been hotkeyed to button 1. Just double tap button 1 and it'll move straight to wherever that army or that unit is. No matter where you are, you can easily shift between armies or hotkeys. You can also hotkey structures, so I'm going to hotkey this building over here as number 3. I'm going to hop to my reaper and into the building. Back to the reaper, building, marauder. Let's do this. It's a lot easier than doing this. That's just time consuming. Okay, so real quick, show you how to add units to your hotkey. If you already have a hotkey set, let's so remove this ultra over here. I'm gonna make this ultra hotkey one, and so the ultra is hotkey one, but I want this hydra list to join that hotkey without having to do this and re hotkey just select the unit you want to add to the group hold the shift button and press the number so now there are two units in this hotkey as you can see the ultra list and the hydra list and now there's two units well if I want to add this muta hold the shift button press one and now they're all three in there Now, even if there's a group of units and one is off somewhere by itself, if you double press the hotkey number, it's going to go to where the most units in that hotkey group are. So, as you can see, the muta got left out. But when I give them a move action, they all still move towards that location that I, I tell them to. So, keep that in mind practice your shift and using control because they do two completely different things you don't want to accidentally say hey I want to add this unit to the hotkey group you press control and you end up with only one unit in that hotkey group okay the use of hotkeys comes in handy differently for everyone so I'm going to demonstrate how one person may decide to use the hotkey um, so I'm going to hotkey this whole army as one. But this ghost, because he has special abilities that would help me out, I'm going to hotkey as two. Now, even though go the ghost is in one and two, he takes actions whether you select hotkey one or hotkey two. But with hotkey two, you don't have to try to find him within the army, because as you can see there, when they're all cloned up together, it's hard to spot those special units. Sounds like a plan. So, I'm going to tell them to attack. Yes, sir. And I'm pressing the 2 button to pull my ghost away because I want an EMP. And this is one reason why hotkeys are useful. Now the ghost is taking damage, so you want to move him away. That's it. Now, hotkeys are really important for special abilities, so if 
you have two ghosts and this gigantic ball of an army and you can't find them and you need to use EMP or snipe or cloak or and maybe a nuke, that's really your own fault. Hot, always hotkey because once they get in a large group you just can't see them. If I'm not mistaken, the Protoss army will dominate here without EMP and without using hotkeys. I'm not saying you have to use hotkeys, it's up whatever you want to do, man, but just keep in mind that it is useful, and yeah, sure enough, that's what happens, man. That's what happens. There is an alternative to separating your special units from your main army, or whatever. Um, I use a couple Viking. Um... Toss in a row two ravens. Alright, so I'm gonna select all these units and move them out here. All the units are in hotkey one, and as well, the ravens show up first. Like I said, I'm not sure about the order. Press the tab key, and you can actually cycle through the abilities. It's like a, they're separated into groups within the hotkey group so when I press tab I get the next one in line with their abilities so tabbing through I get the Viking if I press the assault mode button all the Viking in that group go down and to assault mode all right. and they're still hotkey I can press uh, as long as they're within this window right here the abilities that I'm trying to use they will take action So if I wanted to stem my Marauders right now, they would stem. If I wanted to use my Raven's auto turn ability, I could use it without losing control of my group. Um, and it is smart casting, so I have two Ravens. When I want to use the auto turn or the drone, only one is going to go. But if I want them both to drop a turret, and I press the T button, hold down shift and click twice, two will go down. Now once this one has run out of energy, the next one will drop the auto turret. So we'll do that again. I want another auto turret. Now the next one in line will move up and drop down auto turrets. So use that to your advantage, it comes in handy. Alright, this tutorial is going to be kind of quick, or this section anyway. So I'm going to hotkey my army. Now these are called waypoints. So when if I hold the shift button and give them an action, you see this path and I can release the key and wait for them to get there. Now you can mix and match movement waypoints and attack waypoints where you press the A button and as you can see it changes to a red. What will happen is those units will move to the next waypoint and if they see anything in their way they will attack it before moving on whenever it's attack move but just movement they'll just continue moving so I'm gonna tell my hotkey group to attack to attack move here and then move within these directions as you can see the marauders continue moving because there's nothing for them to attack while the Viking take out the Overlord. Now you can mix and match this any way you want. If you want to have a secondary armor, armor, uh, army move in on someone's base and attack while you're controlling your main army, you can do that. So uh, this concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I have a quick note to add to the last clips. I have a little time, so I figured I, instead of recording the video all over again, I would just add it at the end. Uh, when you do an attack move, the uh, the movement or to give the action is the left mouse button instead of the right mouse button, like when you're giving a, a movement action. So that's something to keep in mind. You just want to practice using both. That way it becomes second nature. And uh, yeah, so uh, 
I've been putting together some plans for the next tutorial. Still not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm um, going to come up with something. Thanks for watching.